Right now, 11 more jurors, which includes six alternates, are still needed for the historic criminal trial of former President Donald Trump. He is the first former president to face criminal charges. Seven jurors were seated yesterday. Mr. Trump is accused of falsifying business documents to cover up hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. Joining us to talk now about the challenges in finding an impartial jury is legal expert Wendy Patrick. And I should say that as an attorney, you've been on both sides of the courtroom. You've seated over 100 <laughs> juries. So, I mean, you, you know how this works. How tough is it to find not just 12, but we need six alternates as well. You know, if it were a garden variety case, if there is such a thing, it wouldn't be the challenge it is because you, you use the word historic and that's exactly what this case is. Can you imagine getting summoned for jury duty and you get sent to a courtroom and there's former President Trump right there? That is what some of the jurors who have already been excused have described as just almost surreal. Here they are sitting there. But you're also correct that it's more challenging because everybody has an opinion about President Trump. Everybody either loves him or hates him. There's very few people that are sort of neutral. Uh, take him or leave him in the middle. And that's why it is such a challenge. Having said all that, they already have seven. Yes. Now, already. He is a polarizing figure, though. And so two of the people, two of those seven attorneys. That's right. <laughs> I believe there's a nurse who's also oncology on the nurse. So that's right. Who, who do you think they're looking for? Are they looking for people who know the law and will follow the law? Are they looking for educated? Are they looking for, you know, obviously Donald Trump wants people who love Donald Trump. You know, what's interesting is I looked through the qualifications of everybody that's already been seated. And one thing they had in common is they derived their news from a variety of sources, mm. all of them from Google to TikTok, New York Times, MSNBC, Fox News, CNN, all of them were well-rounded. That appeared to be the commonality. I was surprised to see two, two lawyers, but I can understand why, given the this, this is a very complicated law, that you might want legal minds back there. Now, which side is that going to inure to the benefit of? I'm, I'm assuming they're going to tell us that at the end. Now, here's another thing. How many of these people are showing up to be jurors thinking, I can write a book, I'm going to get famous, Maybe I'll be on a show somewhere. I mean, there are so many different factors playing into this that the attorneys really have to do their due diligence. That's exactly right. We call those stealth jurors. And you always worry on a high profile case that somebody is going to try to get onto the jury for all of the wrong reasons. But experienced trial lawyers can detect somebody that is seems to be answering all of the questions right to ingratiate themselves to both sides. You know, sometimes it's easier if you've done a lot of trials to tell the stealth juror. And I have the ultimate faith in the jury system. I, from what I've read about the seven that have been seated, including, by the way, one that's already been chosen to be the four person, mm -hmm. it appears that they all want to do the right thing. Yeah, without question. So where do you think we go from here once the trial starts? Do you think I mean, some of these jurors are definitely going to look at Donald Trump and say, oh, my gosh, that's that's a former president. That's the guy I watched on The Apprentice, you know, <laughs> but at some point, is it like two or three days into the trial where they start to say, you know, OK, I, I, I'm past that now and this is a trial and I'm going to pay attention. It doesn't matter who that is sitting there. I think they're already there. I would say fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a fast moving case. It already is. I think jury selection is the most important part. These are the men and women who are going to sit in judgment. And I think that right at the beginning, you've already seen the kind of vetting process that should ring true. These appear to be very serious, good jurors. Also remember, however, that unless somebody says I can't be fair, which would be what we call a challenge for cause, mm -hmm. each side only gets 10 what we call peremptories. They're not going to blow it because they don't know who's coming down the line. So you have to imagine that they have really thought through uh, these jurors they've accepted. They're almost halfway there, and I wouldn't be surprised if they get the other half tomorrow and we do opening statements on Monday. Yeah, I mean, we heard that this could take weeks. Now maybe it'll just take days. So, you know, we'll have to see what happens. We'll I continue to wait. follow. You'll continue to follow. We'll have you <laughs> back on here again. That's for sure. Wendy, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. All right.